A radio talk show host asked his audience an interesting question. If you knew that this was the last day of your life, what would you do? The responses were overwhelming and most enlightening. The first caller said, I'd hurry to an organ donor bank and make sure that some worthy persons would benefit from my body parts. Another said, I would crowd everything that I thought was fun into this my last day. I'd want to go out laughing. The third caller said, I would phone all of my friends and tell them how much I appreciated all that they had done for me. I'd want each of them to know how much our friendship had meant. Finally, one caller said, I'd want to take time to be alone with God and pray and make sure my heart was right with Him. I'd want Him to know how much I was looking forward to meeting His Son, my Savior. Beloved, how can we be sure our heart is right with God? In Acts 17.30, Paul told the men of Athens, and he's telling us today what we must do. He said, The times of ignorance God overlooked, but now he commands all people everywhere to repent. Jesus also said in Luke 13.5, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. The message of repentance has always been the heart cry of God to all people. First, Confess your sins to the Lord. This means you agree with God that you are a sinner and in need of His mercy. Then, intentionally turn from your lifestyle of sin and turn to the life God wants you to live. You do this, first of all, by believing Jesus died for your sins, was buried, and that He rose from the dead on the third day. Then, confess Him as Lord and commit your life to following His ways, His will, His word, his worship, his walk, and his work. Indeed, turning from your sin and turning to God is what is absolutely necessary if you want to be right with God. Beloved, what if this were the last day of your life? Are you ready to stand before God and face his judgment? Do today what you will be thankful for all eternity that you did. Repent and be gloriously saved. This is Lane Wilder for Carry the Light Ministries, bringing you insights from an elder.